For thousands of years, swords have been a symbol of power and a tool of battle. And one particular sword that has stood out throughout history is the scimitar. The scimitar is a unique curved sword that has its origins in the Middle East. Its design was made to allow for swift and effective slicing movements, and this sword was especially effective for cavalry riders. In this episode of Brainwaves, we're going to explore the rich history and evolution of the scimitar, from its origins to its modern-day use as a ceremonial symbol. The origins of the scimitar can be traced back to the ancient Egyptian Kopesh sword, which was a sickle-shaped sword with a hook-like end. The curved shape of the Kopesh is thought to have influenced the design of the scimitar, as both weapons allowed for efficient slashing and slicing movements. However, unlike the scimitar, the Kopesh was primarily a thrusting weapon and had a single-edged blade. One theory is that the curved design of the Kopesh was inspired by the crescent shape of the lunar deity, while others suggest it was designed for use in hunting or to allow for easy removal of enemy limbs. Nevertheless, the influence of the Kopesh on the development of the scimitar is undeniable. The scimitar has its origins in the Middle East, where the curved sword was developed and is believed to have been used as early as the 9th century. It became popular in the 15th century and was used extensively by warriors in the Ottoman Empire and Mughal Empire in India. These empires were known for their use of cavalry, and the scimitar's design made it particularly effective for mounted warriors, as it allowed for swift and powerful slicing motions. The scimitar was also used by various other cultures in the Middle East and Central Asia, such as the Persians, who called it the Shamshir. Over time, the scimitar evolved to suit different contexts and uses, leading to a variety of regional variations such as the Kilij, the Saif, and the Talwar. The curved blade of the scimitar served multiple purposes. For one, the curve allowed for a wider cutting surface while also providing greater momentum for the user, making it easier to deliver devastating cuts. In addition, the curve meant that the edge of the sword would remain sharp for longer periods of time as it spread out the force of impact across a wider area. Another important feature of the scimitar is its single-edged blade, which is easier to sharpen and maintain than double-edged swords. Additionally, many scimitar swords had a reinforced back edge, called a yelman or yakman, which allowed for effective backhand strokes. Other features such as the hilt design and length could vary depending on cultural and regional differences and the intended use of the sword. Overall, the design features of the scimitar made it a versatile and effective weapon that served a variety of purposes throughout history. The origins of the scimitar's curved blade design can be traced back to ancient times, with some historians speculating that the concept may have been first introduced by the ancient Greeks or Persians. However, it was during the Middle Ages that the scimitar as we know it today began to take shape, with notable examples appearing in Persian and Turkish art and literature. These early examples of the scimitar featured curved blades that allowed for quicker and more accurate slicing movements, with some designs featuring a more pronounced curve than others. As the cavalry became more prominent in warfare, the scimitar's curved blade design became even more practical, making it easier for mounted warriors to engage in close combat. The scimitar's design would continue to evolve over time, leading to the creation of the many regional variations we see today. The curved blade of the scimitar is what gives it such a unique advantage in combat. The curve allows for a much wider cutting surface than a straight blade, making it easier to slice through opponents with a single stroke. This cutting action is also more efficient at causing devastating injuries than a thrusting action. Furthermore, the curve of the blade contributes to the sword's overall balance, with the center of balance shifted towards the tip of the sword. This balance, combined with the curved blade, means that the scimitar is incredibly maneuverable, allowing for quick direction changes and agile movements. This feature made it particularly suited for mounted warfare and close combat as riders could easily deliver swift slices to enemies while remaining in motion. Overall, the curved blade of the scimitar provided a significant advantage in combat, making it a popular and effective sword throughout history. Cavalry riders and mounted warriors throughout history have relied on the scimitar's unique design and attributes to dominate the battlefield. The curved shape of the sword allowed for quick and effective slashes when riding past enemies, maximizing the momentum of the mounted warrior. The scimitar's design also made it a practical weapon in close combat, 
where the rider could effectively deliver slices and thrusts while on horseback. The scimitar was especially popular in the Middle East and Central Asia, where it was used extensively by nomadic tribes such as the Mongols and Turks, and later by empires such as the Ottomans and Mughals. The scimitars used by these warrior societies contributed to its reputation as a formidable weapon of war throughout history. Scimitars were widely used in the Ottoman Empire during the medieval period. The sword was particularly popular among Ottoman cavalry, who relied on its unique characteristics to gain an advantage in battle. Ottoman scimitars featured a curved blade that allowed for quick and powerful slicing movements. The weight of the sword was also distributed in a way that made it easy to handle and maneuver, especially when used on horseback. Some Ottoman scimitars featured intricate designs and patterns on the blade and hilt, showcasing their importance as symbols of power and prestige. The sword also played a significant role in the Ottoman military and was often used in traditional ceremonies and displays of strength. Overall, the scimitar was a key weapon in the Ottoman military and remains an important symbol of Ottoman culture and history. Scimitars were also widely used in the Mughal Empire in India during the medieval period, reflecting the sword's popularity and effectiveness beyond the Ottoman Empire. The Mughal scimitars were crafted by skilled artisans and were often given as gifts to temple priests and rulers. These swords were often highly decorated with gold, silver, and gems further emphasizing their status as symbols of power and prestige. Mughal scimitars featured a strong and durable blade that allowed for quick and agile movements, making them well-suited for close combat and skirmishes. Some Mughal scimitars also featured engraved inscriptions of Quranic verses, illustrating the sword's religious significance in Islamic culture. Superbly crafted Mughal scimitars are still highly sought after by collectors today, and reflect the incredible craftsmanship and artistry of the Mughal Empire. The widespread use of scimitars in the Ottoman Empire and Mughal Empire had a significant impact on warfare during those times. The unique design of the scimitar provided increased maneuverability and allowed for quick and swift attacks, making it particularly effective in close combat and cavalry charges. The scimitar's blade design also allowed for a wider cutting surface, making it more efficient at causing devastating injuries than thrusting weapons. Additionally, the scimitar had a psychological impact on opponents, with its curved blade and ornate design lending an air of prestige and power to the wielder. The use of scimitars in these empires reflected the values and culture of the time, highlighting the importance of warfare and the role of the warrior in society. Overall, the scimitar's impact on warfare was significant and enduring, making it a key weapon in the history of medieval warfare. The term, scimitar, comes from the Turkish word, semitar, which means, curved, or, cutting, sword. The name reflects the unique characteristics of the sword, such as its curved blade and efficient slicing action. The original scimitars were crafted in the Middle East and Central Asia, where the curved blade design proved particularly effective for mounted warfare and close combat. The use of scimitars spread throughout the Islamic world, eventually reaching Europe and other regions. The name, scimitar, became synonymous with curved swords in many cultures and languages, reflecting the sword's enduring popularity and effectiveness in combat. Today, the word, scimitar, continues to be used to describe a variety of curved swords from different regions and cultures. The term, scimitar, has been used across different cultures and regions to describe various types of curved swords. In the Middle East and Central Asia, the scimitar was a popular weapon for mounted warriors and cavalry riders, and was known for its distinctive curved blade and efficient slicing action. In India and Pakistan, curved swords such as the Talwar and Shamshir were commonly referred to as scimitars, but often differed in their blade curvature and shape. In Europe, Swords such as the saber and falcata were also sometimes referred to as scimitars, although they were typically designed for different purposes and had unique characteristics. Despite these differences, the term, scimitar, has endured as a popular and recognizable way to describe a whole class of curved swords with a rich and storied history. The name, scimitar, holds cultural significance and reflects the sword's place in human history. The word, scimitar, has become synonymous with curved swords and is often used to evoke a sense of exoticism or orientalism. 
The curved blade of the scimitar has become a symbol of strength, heroism, and prowess, and has been featured in many artworks and cultural artifacts throughout history. For example, Islamic art frequently depicts the Prophet Muhammad holding a scimitar, while European art often shows the scimitar as a weapon wielded by brave knights and warriors. The name, scimitar, also carries cultural and historical weight, reflecting the sword's origins in the Middle East and Central Asia, where it was used in many epic battles and military campaigns. Overall, the scimitar's name holds significant cultural importance and reflects the sword's enduring legacy in human history. While scimitars are no longer used as weapons of war today, they still hold cultural significance and are used for ceremonial purposes. Modern-day use of scimitars is mainly confined to special occasions such as weddings, parades, and cultural festivals. Scimitars are prized for their unique design and ornate decoration, and continue to capture the imagination of people around the world. While new technologies and materials have led to the development of more practical and efficient weapons, the scimitar remains an important cultural symbol, reflecting the rich heritage of the societies where it originated. Scimitars are also popular among collectors who appreciate the sword's aesthetic appeal and historical significance. Overall, the scimitar's modern-day use serves as a reminder of its enduring legacy in human history and the vital role it played in shaping the world as we know it today. Scimitars continue to play an important role in ceremonial settings today and are often used in weddings, parades, and cultural festivals. In many cultures, the scimitar represents strength, courage, and honor and is therefore an integral part of traditional ceremonies and celebrations. In weddings, scimitars are used to represent the groom's family and are often carried as a symbol of his power and status. During parades, scimitars are often used as part of a ceremonial guard, adding an air of prestige and tradition to the event. The use of scimitars in cultural festivals is also common, where they are often used in traditional dances and performances. Scimitars in ceremonial settings are typically highly decorated and adorned with intricate designs and precious metals, highlighting their significance and importance in these settings. Scimitars have been, and continue to be, a popular subject in modern media and pop culture. In movies and TV shows, scimitars are often portrayed as exotic and mysterious weapons that evoke a sense of adventure and excitement. They are frequently used in historical epics and fantasy tales, serving as a symbol of heroism and power. In video games, scimitars are often included as a weapon option, allowing gamers to experience the weapon's unique curved design and slicing action. The scimitar symbolism has also been appropriated in various forms of pop culture, from fashion and music to design and advertising. The sword's elegant outline and distinctive shape make for a compelling motif that resonates with many creators and audiences around the world. Overall, the scimitar's presence in media and pop culture is a testament to its enduring legacy and cultural significance. And there you have it, the fascinating history of the scimitar, a sword that has captivated people for thousands of years with its unique design and effectiveness in battle. From its origins in the Middle East to its widespread use in empires throughout history, the scimitar has played a significant role in shaping our understanding of swords and their importance in society. Although it may no longer be used in battle, the scimitar remains an important cultural symbol even today, often seen in ceremonies and events. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Brainwaves and learned something new about this incredible weapon.